Welcome to Frontline Business. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. In business news today, the effects of Brexit could have a dampening effect on aspects of Jamaica's upcoming winter tourist season. However, despite a softening in some markets, an overall increase in arrivals is in the forecast for the period. Although 29,000 additional seats are confirmed from Canada and figures from the U.S. are strong, Tourism Minister Ed Bartlett says focus will be on Europe, where there are issues due in part to Brexit. We have a little softening out of Europe and we're going to have some meetings at World Travel Market with all our European partners uh, because we do recognize that there is a little softening as a result of Brexit out of the UK and, and then there's also some level of skittishness in terms of the Spanish and Italian, primarily because of the health issues. Jamaican Tees is reporting that it acquired 50% of the outstanding shares of Bay City Foods, a supermarket operated in Montego Bay. With this completed on October 1, Jamaican Tees now has full ownership of the company. Jamaican Tees says the purchase was nominal and the financial effects of the acquisition are expected to result in a material increase in the group's consolidated revenues. The International Monetary Fund IMF, is further downgrading its outlook for the world economy, predicting that growth this year will be the weakest since the 2008 financial crisis, primarily because of widening global conflicts. The IMF's latest World Economic Outlook, released Tuesday, foresees a slight rebound in 2020, but warns of threats ranging from heightened political tensions in the Middle East to the threat that the United States and China will fail to prevent their trade war from escalating. The updated forecast was prepared for the fall meetings this week of the 189-nation IMF and its sister lending organization, the World Bank. Those meetings and a gathering Friday of finance ministers and central bankers of the world's 20 biggest economies are expected to be dominated by efforts to de-escalate trade wars. The new forecast predicts global growth of 3% this year, down 0.2 percentage points from its previous forecast in July, and sharply below the 3.6% growth in 2018. It would be the weakest year since global growth was a negative 0.1% in 2009 as the global economy struggled with the shockwaves from the 2008 financial crisis. In Tuesday's trading session, the JSE combined index declined by 1,521 points to close at almost 500,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 66 stocks, of which 38 advanced, 21 declined and 7 traded firm. The junior market index advanced by 30 points to close at 3,393. Stocks advanced for MG Packaging and Paper, Barita Investments, Berger Paints, CAC 2000 Limited and Cargo Handlers. Stocks declined for 138 Student Living, Access Financial Services, Caribbean Cement, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances and Derriman Trading. Trading firm were Dolphin Cove, Fosrich Company, JMMB Group, Nutsford Express Services, and Lasco Distributors. Barita Investments was the volume leader with almost 22 million units, followed by Wigton Wind Farm with nearly 14 million units, and Sagicor Select Funds with almost 3 million units. And oil prices were narrowly mixed on Tuesday, retracting early losses on optimism about a potential Brexit deal and signals from OPEC that further supply curbs are possible, but prices remained under pressure from U.S.-China trade worries and concern about swelling U.S. crude inventories. Global benchmark Brent futures were up two cents to $59.37 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude was down 10 cents to $53.49. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. Pleasant viewing.